Hello. Yeah, um, let's start. I hope you can see already my screen. So perhaps some uh, words about me first. So um, more than half of my life, I'm focused on secure communication, starting with the military service and afterwards doing a lot of um, Unix Linux based mail server encryption based communication flows. And since 2006, I'm with the OTRS group mainly focusing on cybersecurity customers. So COVID changed the way we worked rapidly in the last few months, and this brought up a lot of new risks for data security in the different companies. We did some uh, survey um, and the home office, we found out that the need for the support for each individual user was increasing a lot because of new technologies they have to use like VPNs or new computers or even switching to new solutions. Yeah. Also, um, the increasing demand for support was based on the less of communication with colleagues. So you cannot just go to another room and ask a colleague. Uh, and it's for sure more difficult to access systems from home than before in the office. And also support increased in a way to switch to phone because nearly 50% of the users want to use the phone instead of email to solve their issues. And everyone expects very fast answers. So this all together sees there is a lot of unsureness for all the employees on how to work from home in a good way. And they need a lot of help from the companies, from the IT department and from the support team. Unfortunately, this also leads to increasing number of security incidents during the crisis. So 66% of the IT managers saw an increase in the numbers in the reporting because of moving to home office. And let's have a look why this happened and what kind of measure uh, countermeasures you can do to get rid of these issues to work securely from home. So one cause we found out is that a long or a lot of companies use gray market solutions, which means they somehow sometimes get the software not directly from the companies who build it or who is the code owner. The gray market products or the gray market suppliers typically don't have the same level of knowledge like the owner of the software, the company behind it, or like certified partners. Second, the gray market providers cannot provide every time the updates as fast as the company who owns the software can do it. So this leads to a non-updated software, which leads us to the second cause, outdated software. So as you all know, software always have security vulnerabilities and after they are found it is needed to solve and close them as fast as possible and so you have to update and patch very often so for example we update or bring new updates every six weeks 
to solve security issues in other bugs. And as you see in the mentioned tripwire study, 27% of security breaches are due to patches not being applied on. So roughly 30% of all security incidents would not have happened if companies do a fast patching and you can rely on this. Let's go on to the third cause. Unsecure suppliers. Not every supplier can give the same level of security and data and privacy like others. So in Europe with the GDPR, it's much easier to find companies who are having a certain level of security and bring all the needed procedures to be GDPR compliant. So it's a little bit easier here, but not everywhere in the world we have the same rules and the same understanding for data privacy and data security like we have here in Europe. The fourth cause is lack of training. So the majority of security incidents happens because people are always the weak point in the whole chain of security. So this might start with weak passwords or using the same password over and over again for the different services. Also sometimes unsecure networks might be used or even people just uh, yeah, follow phishing attacks and give their passwords to externals or social engineering is successful and then people will just trust the wrong persons. So for the home office, every mobile employee should really make sure that the networks they're using are secure and a VPN or a secure cloud-based software is used. The fifth cause is that a lot of companies don't have a major incident process for the security incident pro incidents. So sometimes they just stumble in it as a, oh, something happened and I don't know what to do. Or again, the customer users, the um, employees don't know how to deal with a security incident, whom to contact. And as long as the incident will run and it's not solved totally, we still have a risk that more and more data will be got lost and then stolen or whatever is in this incident. So about 40% of IT managers already told us they need a more structured process to deal with security incidents. Okay, some conclusions out of these points. So every company should directly work with the vendors or official and trust the partners of these vendors instead of someone who might offer the same kind of software. Especially in the open source market, we see that a lot of small companies provide services for software which is not developed by them or owned by them, uh, which leads to the wrong conclusion that every of these small companies has the same expertise on the software. Patch management is vital for the company. So really patch and upgrade on a regular basis all the software which also means you need to see information channels to find out that there is a new update, a new patch level, um, instead of stumbling across the issue too late because you're not following the distribution channels of the different vendors. Always check the GDPR compliance of the solutions 
and of the companies and all the paperwork which is related to this, which is mainly at the beginning of a professional connection to other companies. Train and test your staff regularly, and that's not just for the employees, but this is also for the people who are solving the incidents. In the military, a typical way is train as you fight, and this should be also one of the goals in the IT. Conduct regular trainings based on real-life incidents or demos where people don't know that this is a training and they have to use the same tools they use every day. Otherwise, you will never find out weak points in your processes and you're not able to change your process to a better one. And the last, which is also connected then to the trainings and to find out weak points, is to define proper incident processes. Have a good documentation and use the right tools for incidents. So these points all together will minimize the risks we currently see, especially in the changed approach in working from home or from mobile any place in the world than before. Going to the right tools, um, we have two of them. So OTRS is a smart and agile safe communication platform. Most of the issues is or are based on bad communication. Information does not reach the right persons in time. So communication is always a key point also in IT service management and incident management. For cyber defense, we offer a special SOA platform called STORM, which is also part of the OTRS family and also helps to automate and, and structure communication in here. So to sum it up, a good and major solution for ticketing and for communication should be the base of all the operations to solve our current issues we have. Okay, it seems I'm a little bit faster than expected. So if there are some questions, I would be happy to answer them.